Javier came back from Brazil a um, year and a half, two years ago, and Javier wanted to leave a legacy of American handball. <clears throat> and he moved back to the Springs, which is where I live, and got re-engaged with the sport and then came over to uh, my house with uh, Linda one night and basically said, we need help. Um, will you try to help? And I said, yes. And so at that time, I had been asked to re-engage as part of the selection committee for the board of directors and recused myself and was nominated by the selection committee to serve on the board within actually a couple weeks of when Harvey became president of the board. I understood Javier's desire to leave a legacy. And I had been disengaged from the sport for 10 years. Um, my family life was relatively stable, um, which meant that I wasn't changing diapers anymore. And decided to try to work together with Javier to leave um, a legacy to the sport that made quite a few people Olympians, including myself. Harvey um, is unique to my experience to Team Handball, and we both know that goes back more than a few years. Um, to, so, so to kind of quantify what is unique about Harvey, when Harvey wants to like talk to somebody about potentially hosting a tournament, he calls up the owner of the Chicago Bulls, or he calls up David Stern from the NBA when he wants to start talking about putting together at least discussions about the potential of, of, of a handball league sometime in the future. So given Harvey's background and given Harvey's experience, he brings a different set of people to the party than anybody else that I've known associated with USA Team Handball. Com combine that with the fact that he's a former president of the U.S. Olympic Committee. So when he calls up the U.S. Olympic Committee, people get really excited and return his phone calls, right? Combine that with the fact that he's, he, he's got contacts, obviously, within the television industry and he's got contacts within the, uh, the IOC and the IHF. So Harvey brings a new level of contacts and credibility to the sport that we arguably haven't had in the past. Very direct, very accomplished. Um, he's very hands-off, but he definitely doesn't want to be surprised. Um, so Harvey, Harvey and I have formed a, a pretty good working relationship from the standpoint that I know the sport, um, I know a lot of the people, I know a lot of the history, I know a lot of the legacy, so I help out Mike Cavanaugh with the day-to-day -day blocking and tackling and let Harvey try to cut the deals at a level that I couldn't achieve. The synopsis of the message was that we're stronger if we work together, okay? So, you know, it, it, it's, it's pretty funny um, to have been engaged with the sport and then have disengaged for 10 years, much to my shame, um, as an Olympian, as an alumni, I, you know, I shouldn't have done that. but. It, it, it was pretty funny to be at the annual meeting and to hear the voice of the membership and basically it was the same story from 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, right? Um, and, and, you know, having had the, 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 the chance to step away for 10 years and then come back with a relatively fresh perspective, um, what, it, what, what is obvious, we, we have a membership of around 700 people. And 
everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a direction that they think the organization should go. And ultimately, what it comes down to is even if we agree to disagree, we're stronger working together than we are trying to splinter and do our things individually across the country, right? So that was the main part of my message. Um, you know, the other part of my message was that when, when Harvey and I started, and then one of the first things we did was hire Mike Cavanaugh back from table tennis, um, we decided to make a run for the Pan American Games in Toronto. And unfortunately, we didn't qualify um, with, you know, uh, against Uruguay. Um, we, we, we made the run for Toronto for a variety of reasons to establish, reestablish credibility with the USOC. Um, there were some potential sponsorship dollars attached to qualifying for Toronto that we wanted to chase. Um, the, it was an opportunity to establish like some credibility with what we're trying to do in Auburn with our national teams, and it didn't work out. And so the message yesterday to the membership was we are now focused on 2020. We're focused on governance. Um, it is, there's been quite a bit of churn evidently within USA Team Handball the last 10 years. Um, and part of Harvey's legacy, part of my legacy, part of Cavi's legacy is to leave in place process and procedure and governance that will stand the test of time and allow us to put the building blocks in place so we can grow this sport properly moving forward. What excites me is First of all, it's, it, it's a great sport. We all know that. We've known that for a while. Um, but what excites me right now is that after 14, 15 months of being in this position and working with Harvey, um, the, I, I can see the pieces starting to come together to build for the future. Um, I am seeing people from the past willing to re-engage, right? And one of the biggest parts of our job is re-engaging with all the people that, it, that this sport has touched in the last 40 years that have chosen for a variety of reasons, which I totally understand, to disengage and do their own thing. but. There's a, there, there's a sizable population of people that this port has positively touched. My personal best friendships in my life came out of Team Handball. I think there's a lot of people associated with Team Handball that can say the same thing. And so, so part of our job is to Get rid of the bad feelings, reestablish trust, reestablish connection with our alumni and our legacy, and bring them back into the tent. And that's starting to happen. Okay, um, we just we 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 just brought on board a new member of the board of directors, Alan Dzdarovic. Um, that is going to be a huge addition to the board. So uh, the, the, the pieces are there for a more engaged board of directors to help guide the sport. Between Allen, Harvey, Michael Leonard, who is putting a lot of time into the sport now and is acting largely as my consultant, mm -hmm. and with Mike Cavanaugh, We've, we've reestablished credibility with the USOC, the PATHF, and the IHF. So the pieces are starting to come in place. Um, one of the things I said to the membership 
last night that is that this is a source of frustration to me is that we have a staff of one we rely on volunteers who all have jobs and families and lives everything happens slower than we would like but it is happening 